Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to download and play Wii games on your PC for free. Since you're watching this video, there are probably only two reasons why. One, your parents won't buy you a Wii. Or two, you really don't care much for the Wii, but there's always that one game that you wanted to play and they don't have it for any other system. Now before we get on with this tutorial, there will be a couple of things you will need. PS3 controller, USB cord to plug the PS3 controller into your PC. I will go on a little bit more while we will need this. And a couple of downloads you will need. First we're going to go to Google. I already have it up here and we're going to type in WinRAR free download for the Windows 7. It, um, it should be the first one just in case if it isn't just scroll down you're going to be looking for fileform.betanews.com and I'm going to click on the 64 bit because I have a 64 bit if you don't then you're going to want to click the 32 bit okay so once you're here you're going to want to click download now and then click run and stuff I'm not going to do that because I already have it but you want to make sure you get this okay so next we're going to want to go back and we're going to want to type in dolphin emulator and this is what's going to allow you to play the Wii games so you're going to want to click the first one mm -hmm. and then click download they update this site pretty frequently so like this one only happened 13 hours ago so that's pretty good and once again if you have 32 bit click 32 bit alright the download should start in five seconds but just in case if it doesn't you're gonna wanna click here and then press open while that's downloading you're going to want to right click, go to new folder, and type in emulator. I'm not going to save this one because I already have it and it's already downloaded in there. So, I'm going to click no. Alright. So, what you're going to want to do is from here, you're going to want to click extract. And from extract, you're going to want to go to where it says desktop. And from there, you're going to want to look for the emulator you folder you created and then you click that and click OK and then once you have that and it's done you're gonna wanna go straight to the emulator make sure you have all these files if you don't you're just gonna wanna uninstall it and reinstall it so go to Dolphin and right here I already have a game but what you should say is no ISOs or WADs found which means there are no games so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new folder and we're going to add ISO or WADs, whichever one you get. I get ISOs because they're easier. So from there you want to go to configure, go to paths and type in, no, click add. From there find the ISO file and then press OK. <clears throat> Oh, before you get games, you're going to need to download uTorrent. Very simple to download. I'm not get I'm not gonna get too much into it. You just want to make you just want to get this one, okay? Because that's the free version. And once you have that, the um, next is games. So what you're gonna need next? What you're gonna need next is I'm gonna go to the site. I don't think I'm supposed to show you the site because it you are downloading it illegally so that's why I took out the address the site that I'm getting it on also has music movies and videos um, and games so I've tried the movies they're fine they're actually really good so for now I'm gonna go to games and the emulator you downloaded supports GameCube and Wii games so I'm just gonna go for a Wii game and let's go with Monster Hunter. Yeah. Once you 
when you're downloading a game, you're going to want to pay attention to the SE and the number below it. Um, the higher the number is, the faster the download will go by. So, just want, that's just something you probably want to pay attention to in the future. And the type, it shows um, Wii games, handhelds, so like PlayStation, Portable, and all that stuff. So, going to go to Wii, and we're going to get the full game. Okay, so here it is. Gonna want to ignore all this and click get this torrent. And from here, it's gonna say allow. You say allow. I'm not going to because I already downloaded this game. And if I say allow, it'll start the whole thing over. So, okay, so now that you have Monster Hunter downloaded, you're gonna want to click that. You're gonna want to right click and open containing folder from here um, I don't think this is supposed to be here so you're gonna wanna right click this game and put add to monster hunter and then it'll download it'll take a little bit and then this will show up and then from there you want to put extract uh, monster hunter 2 and since I already have it extracted I'm not gonna go into that and make sure you extract it to the ISO that you made a while back. So click it. See, it's right here. You can't just drag it, otherwise you'll corrupt the whole download and you'll have to start over. So now you click this, go to the dolphin, and then you can double click the game. And here it is, it's setting up just like a normal Wii, starting up the game created and then boom here it is I'm gonna exit this out next um, you, you remember the PlayStation 3 controller and the USB cord I was talking about now would be a good time to get it out yeah I like to use I like to use the PlayStation 3 controller because I always I've always had a PlayStation and I just like how small it is I don't like the Xbox if you want to use the Xbox controller, you can go ahead. But since I'm not, this is what I'll use. So, and you can use your keyboard if you want. But I just think that's annoying and a lot harder. So now, exit that out. So we're going to go back to the internet. On the internet, go to Google, type in Motion Joy, click the first one. All right, and now right here, the most recent download, download link, and then here it is 64 bit, 32 bit, click that one. I already have it downloaded so I'm not gonna click that but I don't think I've installed it so once you've had it downloaded this is where it would be you want to double click it yeah after you double click it this will show up and then click next 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 yeah install and that was really easy and then you're gonna wanna make sure run is on so just don't mind that okay so now you're gonna wanna plug in your PlayStation 3 controller or Xbox controller into the computer and then here it is it worked automatically for me but it won't for you so you wanna go to driver manager yeah driver manager and make sure your PlayStation or Xbox controller is plugged in when you're doing this so once you go to driver manager you're gonna wanna click on this and tap and click load driver and then from there it should be fine it should be working and it shows you um, that it's charging right now you can put it on any one of these this program was made 
So like if you had a PlayStation 2 controller, you can click it on on Xbox 360 controller to make the um pro to make the computer think that the PlayStation 3 controller is a 360 controller. And to also make sure it's working, you can do vibration test. You want to click enable. From there, do vibration test. And boom. It's working. So, now that you have that, you're going to want to configure the control settings to the Wii emulator. So, oh, I have two open. Let's just exit that one now. Okay. So, for me, you want to go straight to Wiimote and make sure the first one says emulated Wiimote because that's what it is. It's not a real Wiimote. So, you click configure. Don't worry about any of this. This is garbage. And then it, go to extension and make sure it's on classic. And then from there, press configure. And you'll see these two, th those two dots moving. And it's moving the same way I'm putting my analog sticks. And so here you're just going to want to click this. And then when it says waiting, that's the window you have to adjust it. So like, boom. And then it, it's actually really easy. And then the same for the left stick. Just flick it up, down, left, right, and modifier. I just click um, L3. And then you do the same for that, for right stick. And then the triggers of course and then the directional pad is the same too so after that click OK you can call it something let's call it demo and here it goes oh and you're gonna wanna make sure it says D input zero motion joy virtual game controller otherwise it's just not gonna work press OK press OK again and then click the game again now it, everything should go by a lot faster. Oh, thank you, my trusty laptop. There we go. Okay, there's the the whole Monster Hunter trailer. Let's skip that. Press A, and I'm not using the keyboard, I'm using my controller. So this should be easy. Begin the game. I'm not going to show any gameplay because this is just a how to video.